Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Y'all, is Carlos trying to circle back and change the narrative? Because he was not interested in Love and Marriage Huntsville at all, at all. But my question is more for the pe who is who are the people that keep giving Carlos these shows? We all know by now Carlos is always up to some snake behavior, but he stay trying to dress it up, disguise it as if he don't know what he don't know what's going on, trying to make people think, oh. He just green about everything. He just mind his business, do his work, and don't pay attention. Carlos is always on some snake stuff. But whatever. It, it's, it's, it's not going to work because we all know that Carlos is a lying, conniving, coward, backstabbing, hating hypocrite. And just like his hypocritical, hypocritical degenerate cast, Carlos is also a copy paste queen. Always hating on people, but always copying them. But I didn't get, I, I don't get why his, you know, so popular Kingdom Reign production, they supposed to be all of that. Why is he? copying what the Love and Mary Chunsville YouTube sector is doing. I, I don't get it. Now, earlier this morning, somebody posted up under one of my videos and they was and they stated to me, Carlos has a new show called Reality with the King Huntsville Edition. And at first my response, my first response was like, Oh, so now he didn't came to YouTube, racked up some followers, and now he's about to try to uh, take another run at bringing back his show, the reality uh, reality with the king. But then I googled it, and I googled the title, and this N word is now it he is all of a sudden interested in reviewing Love and Mary Tunsfeld. Why? I don't I don't understand why. But then again, I do understand why. But the thing is, when he needed to be reviewing his shows, he was busy criticizing Bravo shows and hoping to get noticed, trying to get his job back, uh, you know, throwing himself out there for attention, hoping somebody extended a branch to him and said oh come back home he wanted them to know that he was back producing and he got some shows now and now he can hang with uh, Andy Cohen he was doing everything except for paying attention to his own shows on the network that was paying him he didn't care that people were calling him out he was doing everything he could to ignore the toxic stuff that was being done on Love and Mary Tunsville. And because Carlos refused to listen to the people telling him what was wrong on his shows because he claimed he didn't know, he was saying, I don't listen to anybody. I don't do what anybody else say. I do what I want to do. Now, he's paying attention because People have decided to black out. Some people was like, nope, I'm just over it. I'm not watching another nothing that Carlos King produced or has a hand in. And some people 
they went back and started reviewing earlier episodes of Love and Mary Tunsville. Some people went all the way to the beginning to start reviewing Love and Mary Tunsville. And now it's really funny that now that Love and Mary Tunsville has lost majority of his viewers, now Carlos is all of a sudden interested in reviewing Love and Mary Tunsville from the beginning. Go figure. In my opinion, Carlo is full of mess and we should see him see him coming a mile away. When whenever let's see, because Carlos he never gave a damn about Love and Mary Tunsfield from the beginning or he would have acted as such. And in my opinion, this is the reason why Carlos is calling Melody the queen all of a sudden. Once again, Carlos is trying to suck up to Melody because he needs her viewers. He needs her followers to take the bait yet again so he can have viewership for his upcoming show. But we already didn't pecked his game. We we already did peeped his game. Carlos card has been pulled because we all know anytime Carlos is nice to Melody, speaking kind words and praising her, he needs to use her for her fan base. Carlos is figured in Cartoon Network. He ain't getting nothing over on us. But like I said, I believe another reason that Carlos wants to review Love and Mary Tunsfield from the beginning is because Melody has this huge fan base that he and his cast cannot get over the fact that she does have a fan base. So Carlos wants to go back to the beginning, start reviewing episodes so they can tell the story in their from their uh their perception so they can try to make people think what they what, what they witnessed, what they watched, what they believe did not happen. They trying to spin the narrative so they can try to get more people to stop liking Melody so they can say, oh no, she was just faking there. That's not what happened. Let me tell you the real. No, we, what we seen, what we witnessed, is exactly what happened. But I believe that Carlos wants to try to go back from the beginning and try to tell the story from his perception. But he wants to have a guess on so he can make it seem like it wasn't him that was trying to change the narrative. It was his guess that was trying to change the narrative. But like I said, we already didn't peep Carlos card. We see right. We see right through Carlos. We are. We stay ready for Carlos. But like I said, Carlos is trying to do a two for one. He thinks he has collected enough followers on YouTube to the point now that he wants to try to bring back his his um. What was that reality reality with the king, nightcap with the king or whatever. But Carlos is a clown, just like his cast. They all talk about Melody throwing stuff against the wall and look at every last one of them, especially Carlos. He has had how many shows by, from, by now? And all of them eventually sink. He keeps up in the, that's why he keep up in the seasons on Love and Mary Tunsville. Each time they take a hiatus, each time they go on break, they come back and they in a new season without new contracts. Make it make sense. But Carlos, he be hoping that nobody noticed. So once his final call, the curtains close on Love and Mary Tunsville, he going to be lying to people talking about how many seasons they were on the air 
you know, skipping seasons and stuff like that, trying to make, just lying, trying to make people think that they were, that he was on the air way longer than he actually was. But where the missing seasons? You going from, that's why he going from one extreme to the next. Carlos flip-flopping them and moving them seasons up the up the ladder so much to the point he don't even know what season he's on. But my question is, who in their right mind keep giving Carlos these shows? What in the world could Carlos possibly be saying or doing to continue to convince these people to give him shows because clearly these people they don't have whomever they are they don't have anything to lose or they're up there saying this Carlos just pulling straws hoping to pull them pull a magic wand to make them a great hit as well because of all the talent lined up waiting for an opportunity and these people keep putting their money behind Carlos, I don't get it. What I mean, what is he doing or saying for people to keep on saying, oh yeah, this this the one right here. This the one that we need to put our money behind right here. Let's go for it. Let's try it one more again. But like I say, somebody is desperate or cheap as hell and if they get a I mean because I don't know I guess these people don't pay as or own done or whoever Carlos worked for they don't pay as well because they can't because they keep giving Carlos the go ahead the green light to produce these shows bring these toxic shows with these low budget people and they don't work out but i believe it has to be some a money issue somewhere because i believe if they get a real producer with some real content they probably scared that they may have to pay some real money i don't know that's just my opinion i'm just talking out loud Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think.